Hi, my name is Rob Garth, and I'd like to welcome you to our Getting Started Guide on 2020 Fusion. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to trial our software, and I'm sure you'll enjoy using it. This video is a guide and should help you to get started on our software. It's a very comprehensive package with plenty of features. So for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to focus on some of the key areas of the program that will be crucial in helping you design your kitchens, bedrooms, and bathrooms. So as an introduction, I'm going to take you through how to put in your walls, your doors, and your windows. So let's get started. First of all, you've got the option just to put in a square room. But life's not always that simple, right? So we can go for an L shape or a U shape, maybe even just a single wall. I'm just going to use multiple walls. Click on this right-hand arrow, and straight away, I can put in a dimension. Maybe change the height or the thickness, press enter, and we've got our first wall in. You can also use the arrows on the keyboard, and that also brings up the same link. And I'm going to put in my dimensions, change this to a thicker wall. You can see that's changed on the display. Come across two meters, change this back to an internal wall, and you can actually put in your room layout very very quickly if i need to use an angled wall then again it's very straightforward to do so i'm now going to complete the room and click ok i now have some color options here so there is some preset color themes that you could enhance the room's layout with that classic cream but you can create your own favorite styles click ok so very quickly, we've put our wall layouts in. All the dimensions come in automatically. Just a very brief introduction to the, to the user interface. Up here, you've got all the familiar sayings that you would associate with all Microsoft certified programs. File save, file close. Home, insert, annotate, and view are going to be your four tabs that you're going to be using most of the time. And then this on the left-hand side is where you're getting all of your doors, windows, and your furniture items. So first of all, we want to go and put in a door into the room. You've got lots, you've got lots of nice different images here to choose from, lots of different styles of doors. I'm actually going to use these filters here, which is really nice and easy just to find the one that you're looking for. And you can scroll through here, find the interior door that you want to, and we drag and drop it into the room. You can change your length, put in your distance left or your distance right to position the door along that wall. I can change the handing or the hinge as well, and click OK. It gives me an option of whether or not I want that door open or closed in plan view. Again, I'm going to keep that open. And then I move on to my next option, which is Windows. Windows work in exactly the same way. I find the window I want, and I drag it into the room. I put in my dimension. The distance left and the distance right works exactly the same way as the doors. And I can change the height of the floor out of that window. That's OK. We've also got some different options in terms of the windows. If you're wanting to put any Velux windows in, maybe even a ceiling lantern, um, again, drag and drop it into the room, and it looks fantastic. So in just in summary, in just a few minutes, we're able to put in the walls, the doors, the windows. It gives you a real good introduction as, as to how to create that room layout. Next up, I'm just going to show you how to put in some furniture. So we're going to use the Universal Kitchens catalog, which will be available for you in this trial. Show you how the style details work, so maybe particular styles of doors that you're going to be wanting to design and show your customers, and introduce you to 2020 Cloud, where you can get access to all of the branded appliances and some decorative items to dress the kitchen like you can see in this fantastic image in the background. So back to the software. Go to my manufacturer's product selector. Basically comes up with our Universal Kitchens catalog. And you've got a couple of options here. I can actually put in a code. So B860 is Highline Base Unit, 600 mil. I prefer to use these filters, which you might prefer to do as this is your first time using the software. Base units, no drawers, and a single door unit. And again, you scroll down to the same unit that we just earlier. 
So first of all, I'm actually just going to start in the corner. Put in a corner unit. Lots of different corner units available. I'll find the one I want to use and drag it into my room. As I drag this into my room, you can see it will spin round depending on where I want to put it. As I release the mouse, it will then show me the style details. So what sort of kitchen am I going to be designing? I'm actually just going to choose a shaker style door. You can see here there's plenty of options available. In terms of the materials, lots of different woods. You've also got pink colors, so high gloss blacks, high gloss whites, all the different gloss row colors, all the Pantone colors as well. So plenty of options there for you. Just going to stick with a nice wood kitchen. You can also change your different handles, handle positions. Again, very straightforward to choose the one you want and a nice clear graphic here of what that kitchen is going to look like. Next up, I'm just going to add in a slightly larger unit here. I'm just going to put another one next to it. I can actually double click on the mouse and that puts another one next to it. I'm just going to stick another unit just in that corner there just to finish off the room. Next up, just going to put a draw pullout unit. So you can use the filters here again. It's very quick, it's very easy. I can choose the one I want to use. A nice, easy graphic. Tag that in next to it. Now just searching for an oven housing. Now with oven housings, it gives us a nice prompted link to put in an oven with that housing. I'm actually going to choose to use our 2020 cloud and put a branded appliance in there. So if I introduce you to this catalog here, so 2020 cloud, um, please register during this trial and you'll be able to get access to this. Um, but you'll see here that there are lots of different brands available on here. So I'm actually just going to use um, the NEF ovens and drag and drop that into the room. Whilst I'm in here, I'm now going to put in a cooker hood. You find the one you want to use and you drag it in. Hobbs work exactly the same way. Find a ceramic, drag it in and away we go. Very straightforward. I'm now just going to use Blanco. And put in a sink by a window. I can actually use the shift button here just to maneuver that into the middle. And we'll use one of these taps here just to complete the appliances for the design. So I can come back to my catalog items at any point and just put in another unit. So I'm just going to put in another 600 unit into here. And So I'm going to put another 600 mil into there, snap that in next to that oven housing, and move on to my wall units. And that works exactly the same way. You drag it in, you've got some options here in terms of how it's viewed on the plan, whether it's standard or architectural. Drag that one in there, and we'll just finish off with a double door unit. Put that into the corner. So, again, in summary, we've introduced you to the Universal Kitchens catalogue, some of the different style details in terms of the look and feel of the kitchen, and I've introduced you to 2020 Cloud. 
Next up, we want to look at different views. So you can see the fantastic images in the background. Um, so we want to be able to, to look at these in, in a 3D render and create this really nice, fantastic image for our customer. I'll show you all the elevations and the different views in which you can show them as well. Um, we want to put in some worktops. And of course, we want to get to a quote. So back into the software, I go right button on the mouse and go to the elevation. You can see here we've got a fully dimensioned elevation view of that kitchen. And all the, the different walls are automatically preset available for you to navigate to. So you don't have to create any of these name views. They're already there for you. If I go to our perspective, which is our 3D view, just going to navigate where I want to where I want to view. Really easy. I right button on my mouse where I want to stand, and I left button on the mouse just to where I want to, to view the kitchen. They're my two points, and I can go through the different render settings here. So wireframe is what we what you can see now. White fill is the next setting, more of a hand drawing look. You've also got color fill, which is the next level up. Again, these are all very quick renders to produce. Draft, next level up. Presentation and Presentation Plus are the two highest renders. If I go to Presentation, you can see here it's a much sharper image, but it's also extremely quick. If I now go to Presentation Plus, slightly nicer. You get much more sort of nice issues on the appliances. But again, it's all very, very quick. So you're not waiting for minutes or hours for this to produce. You can do it in seconds. So just left to do now here is to put on our plinths, our worktops. I can just come up to insert, go to my auto features. I can toggle helmet and cornice off if I want to. Put in my plinth, my worktops. I can also edit them as well if I want any different shapes. I don't want to do that at the moment, so I'm going to click OK. This then gives me another prompted link just to tell me what particular worktop would I like to put in there. Just going to go for a nice black high gloss worktop. You can choose from several different options here. You can also import your own textures as well. We'll click OK, and the render updates for me. In terms of just updating this view a little bit to enhance it, I can actually change the background. You've got some preset backgrounds here to choose from. You can also import your own. But again, it just adds a little bit more realism to the design, and I'm sure your customers will appreciate that. Next up, the lighting. You can actually add in some external lighting themes. For example, just clear sky, maybe midday sun if you wanted a bit of sunlight coming through the window. I'm just going to go for a clear sky. And again, it just offers you a different effect, but the rendering is just as quick. You'll get this view rendered in, in seconds. So next up, let's say, for example, we're going to want to do a quote now for our customer. So we can come up to our view, go to a particular quote. You can see here there's plenty available. And we'll go quote price, including VAT. You've got information here about the customer. And you've got your descriptions, your order codes. Now, the generic catalog isn't priced, but our branded ones are. So if you sell a particular brand of appliance or a particular brand of uh, furniture, then there'll be the order codes, the prices available for you to use. If you need to add a markup, again, it's another possibility to do that. In summary, I've shown you some different views there, your elevations, your 3D renders, all the different settings available, how to put on your worktops, use auto features, and then of course, how to do it. So how do you give your customer a final price? In summary, that gives you all you need to do to get started on using this trial. I'd like to thank you for your time.
please follow us on social media. There's lots of tips and tricks online. You'll get a lot more information on our website. Please register for 2020 Cloud. It will only enhance your experience on this trial. And again, thank you very much for your time.